Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered where all those twinkling stars come from? Each star, each glowing speck in the vast cosmic canvas, has a story of formation that's as intriguing as it is complex. Imagine a giant cloud of gas and dust, idling in the chilly depths of space. Over time gravity tugs at every atom, pulling the cloud tighter and tighter. As the cloud collapses, its center becomes denser and hotter, sparking to life as a young star. But here's where it gets really interesting. This process doesn't happen in isolation. It takes place in bustling cosmic nurseries known as star clusters, where hundreds or even thousands of stars are born together. This dance of creation, happening on a cosmic scale, is the heart of our exploration today. So buckle up stargazers, journey with us as we delve into the mystery of star formation in star clusters. Every star you see in the night sky has a life story. Just as we humans are born, grow, and ultimately pass away, so does a star. It begins its life in a nebula, a vast cloud of gas and dust. This nebula, under the influence of gravity, begins to collapse onto itself. As it contracts it heats up and forms a protostar. This is the star's infancy, a time of rapid growth and change. The protostar continues to grow by accumulating more and more material from its surrounding nebula. After millions of years it becomes hot and dense enough to trigger nuclear fusion in its core. This is the birth of a star a moment marked by the release of a tremendous amount of energy, producing the light and heat we associate with stars. Now in its adulthood the star enters a period of stability known as the main sequence. During this time it maintains a delicate balance between the inward pull of gravity and the outward push of energy from nuclear fusion. Stars can remain in this state for billions of years, shining steadily like our own sun. However, nothing lasts forever. Once the star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it begins to die. The process of death varies depending on the star's mass. Small to medium-sized stars like our sun will balloon into red giants, then shed their outer layers, leaving behind a white dwarf. These white dwarfs will cool over billions of years to become black dwarfs. Massive stars on the other hand, meet a more dramatic end. They explode in spectacular supernovae, leaving behind either a neutron star or a black hole. These remnants are the final testament to the star's once vibrant life. There's a fascinating variety in the universe, from red dwarfs the most common type of star, to rare blue giants. Each one has its unique life cycle, influenced by its mass and composition. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky remember that each twinkling light is a star living out its own cosmic story. But how does this process unfold in star clusters? Stay tuned to find out. Star clusters are like cosmic nurseries, bustling with stellar activity. Have you ever wondered about the universe beyond our solar system? beyond our galaxy? Well, let's take a cosmic journey together and uncover the magic of star clusters. Star clusters are spectacular assemblies of stars, bound together by gravity. Imagine a bustling city teeming with life, but instead of people and buildings, you have stars and cosmic dust. These clusters are not just visually stunning, they're also key to understanding the universe, as they provide a snapshot of star formation in action. There are two main types of star clusters, open clusters and globular clusters. Open clusters are loosely bound and relatively young, often containing a few hundred stars. They're like the vibrant, youthful cities of the cosmos. Globular clusters on the other hand are densely packed with stars, some of them even a billion years old. They're the ancient metropolises of the universe holding secrets of the past. These star clusters serve as cosmic laboratories for astronomers. By studying these clusters we can understand how stars form, age, and ultimately die. They also help us to unlock the secrets of our own sun's life cycle. So how do these star clusters form? They're born from giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. Gravity pulls these particles together, and over millions of years a cluster of stars is born. It's a process akin to watching a slow-motion fireworks display with each sparkling star a testament to the beauty and complexity of our universe. But a star cluster's life isn't all about serenity and beauty. These clusters are also the scenes of dramatic celestial events like supernovae, the explosive deaths of stars. These events scatter elements across the universe, seeding the cosmos with the ingredients for new stars, planets, and even life itself. Now that we understand what star clusters are, let's explore how stars form within them. This cosmic journey is far from over, so stay tuned as we delve deeper into the magic of star clusters. Imagine a cosmic dance where stars are born, live and die together in a cluster. The beauty of the cosmos is not just in the solitary stars that twinkle in the night sky, but in the grand spectacle of star clusters, 
where thousands of stars share a common origin and destiny. Let's delve into the specifics of star formation within clusters. Picture the birthplace of stars, a giant molecular cloud. These are vast regions of space filled with dust and gas. It's cold, dark and incredibly dense. But within this darkness, the magic of star formation begins. Gravity, the master sculptor of the universe, begins to pull the gas and dust together. As these materials coalesce, they form a dense core, which continues to draw in more matter. As the core grows, so does its gravitational pull, and before long, a protostar is born, the first stage in the life of a star. But here's where things get interesting. These protostars aren't forming in isolation. They are forming together in clusters within the same molecular cloud. As a result, the stars in a cluster share a common birthplace and a similar age. They are, in essence, cosmic siblings. As these stars mature, they begin to light up the cluster, creating a celestial fireworks display that can be seen across vast cosmic distances. These stars live together, influencing each other with their gravitational forces, and often, they die together too. When the most massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they explode in spectacular supernovae, scattering their enriched material back into the cluster. This material, now imbued with the heavy elements forged within the heart of the dying star, becomes the seed for the next generation of stars. And so, the cycle continues. Stars are born, they live and they die, only to be reborn again. It's a never-ending cosmic ballet, with each new generation of stars dancing to the rhythm set by their predecessors. But why do stars form in clusters? The answer lies in the nature of the molecular clouds. These clouds are so vast and dense that when gravity initiates the process of star formation, it doesn't just happen at one location, it happens all over the cloud leading to the birth of not one, not two, but thousands of stars. These star clusters offer us a unique window into the life cycle of stars. Because all the stars in a cluster are roughly the same age and made from the same material, they provide a cosmic laboratory where astronomers can study how stars of different masses evolve over time. Isn't it fascinating how stars form in clusters creating a never-ending cycle of cosmic life and death? This intricate dance of creation and destruction, played out on a cosmic stage, is just one of the many wonders of our universe. And studying these clusters not only reveals the secrets of the stars but also our own place in the grand scheme of things. The birth and death of stars and clusters is not just a spectacle, it holds the key to understanding our universe. The process of star formation and clusters in all its magnificent complexity is like a cosmic puzzle. And when we start to piece together this puzzle, we unlock secrets of the universe itself. By studying star clusters, we can better understand how stars, like our very own sun, are born. We can delve into the mysteries of how these celestial nurseries influence the galaxies they reside in. We can even gain insights into the very fabric of space and time. The knowledge we glean from these clusters helps us answer some of the most fundamental questions about our existence and the nature of the universe. In essence, these clusters are not just stunning cosmic phenomena, they're the keys to the cosmos. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that each twinkling star has a story to tell. We have journeyed through the cosmos and uncovered the mysteries of star formation and clusters. As we've seen, stars are not solitary entities, but rather they're born in clusters, a celestial nursery of sorts. We've discovered the life cycle of a star, from its inception in a dense gas cloud to its ultimate fate. We've marveled at the magic of star clusters, those dazzling assemblies of stars that adorn our night sky. We've delved into the intricate processes that lead to star formation within these clusters and contemplated the profound impact that star clusters have on our understanding of the universe. We've embarked on this astronomical adventure together, and it's been nothing short of stellar. So, what do you think? Wasn't it a journey worth taking? Your thoughts and ideas are always welcome here. Join us again as we continue to explore the mysteries of our universe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content. Until then, keep looking up.